What is going on guys? Today in this video I am going to show you how to do a sensor cleaning on your mirrorless or your DSLR camera coming up right after this. What is up everybody? My name is Nelson and on this channel I do technology and photography based tips, tricks and tutorials. I've got lots of awesome content coming up in the future so if you're new here please consider subscribing. All right, guys, well, what do these two cameras have in common? This Sony a7R2 here is a mirrorless camera, and this is a DSLR. Well, they are both interchangeable lens cameras, and they both have digital image sensors. Now, inevitably, this means that at some point in time, you will get dust on your image sensor, and you will need to do a cleaning on it. Now, you can send your camera off to have a cleaning service done, but this can be costly, and you may not get your camera back for a few days. I have a simpler solution, and I'm going to share that with you right now. So how do you tell if your image sensor has dust on it? Well, it's quite simple. Attach a lens to your camera, set the lens to the smallest aperture that you can, say f16 or f22, Set the ISO to 100 and point the camera directly up into the sky and take a picture. Take that image back to your computer and open it up. Here is an example image of my Sony a7R 3 prior to having the sensor cleaned. And here is an image I took after I cleaned the sensor. Quite a big significant difference. So I'm going to start out with the DSLR and then I'm going to show you how to do it on the mirrorless camera. So I'm going to get over here to the bench and show you how it's done. Okay, everyone, before we get started, I want to talk about the sensor cleaning kit. This one is made by VSCO, and this one specifically is meant for full frame sensors. Now, if you're not familiar with what a full frame sensor is, basically it is the digital equivalent of a 35 millimeter piece of film. So basically these swabs are the exact size or just smaller than the image sensor. There are cameras that have APS-C size sensors and micro four-thirds sensors which are both smaller than full frame. So what I would recommend doing is getting the appropriate swab for your sensor size. Both cameras today that I'm going to be doing, the 5D Classic and the a7R2, are both full frame sensors. This kit can be had for, oh, I want to say about $20 and comes with 12 individual swabs and they are each packaged individually, which is really nice. And they come with this sensor cleaner solution. If you guys are interested in checking out this kit, I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to start with the older of the two cameras here, which is the Canon 5D Classic. And as I stated at the beginning of this video, this being a DSLR actually has a mirror in front of the image sensor. So what we're going to have to do is actually flip this mirror out of the way to expose the image sensor. So in order to get the mirror out of the way for us to clean it, we go all the way down to the bottom of the menu system here to system cleaning. So whatever camera you have, you're going to want to find a section that talks about sensor cleaning or mirror lockup so that you can get that mirror popped out of the way so you can do the cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this one on this camera and hit OK. And now you'll see that mirror is going to flip out of the way and expose the sensor. So the method is the same on both cameras. I will say, you do have to be careful. Some sensors actually have grease around the sensor itself. So when you take the swab, you're going to want to be very careful to stay just on the sensor itself. If you hit any of that grease, you can actually smear it across the sensor, and it is a lot worse than having dust on there, and it will be very difficult to remove. Let me go ahead and open up a brand new swab here. All right, according to the instructions on this kit, they want you to take the cleaner solution and only apply a drop to the upper corner, and the rest will actually flow down across the rest of the swab. I found, in my experience, it didn't actually do that, and I had to add solution all the way down. So just add a very small amount of solution down the whole swab until it's saturated just on the edge there. All right, so we're going to go in. and go across the sensor very gently. And when you hit the other edge, you're gonna turn your hand over. Let me switch hands so you can see better. And then you're gonna go down the sensor again this way. 
And now what you would do is go ahead and reattach a lens to here. And again, select a small aperture like f16, f22, the lowest ISO possible, and shoot a picture of the sky. Go back to the computer and see if you removed all of the dust particles. If you didn't, go ahead and repeat this process again. Also, just wanted to let you know, these swabs will also work on lenses and other things too. But they are kind of just a one-time use thing, so I would discard this particular swab if you're going to do another pass on the sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. And let's go ahead and get the A7R2 out. Now you'll notice on the A7R2, not only is the sensor a lot closer to the flange here, but it also doesn't have a mirror or anything covering it. Now on some mirrorless cameras, they actually allow the curtain to close to keep the sensor from being exposed to dust. So anytime you take a lens off of one of these cameras, especially on these mirrorless cameras, where there isn't a mirror in front, you're basically inviting dust to hit the sensor. So I just want to show you again, the basic principle is the same here, but I want to mention on cameras such as the A7R2, they actually are sensor stabilized. So it's imperative when you're doing the cleaning on a camera like this to be very careful because the sensor is actually going to move on us when we do this. So I like to be as gentle as possible. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply solution to this one more time here. This is a new swab. Very carefully wipe. Turn it over. And wipe this way. Okay looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cap back on here. Okay, everyone, your image sensor should be nice and clean now. If you would like to check out this sensor cleaning kit, I will leave an affiliate link in the description below. And I hope you guys have a great one. Take care.